What is up guys? Welcome back to another epic reaction on Awesome Kids TV. And today we're reacting to episode 7 of Malapony the Podcast. Link is down below if you want to go and check it out. And after we are done reacting to this and we shall get to it. Hey Pipsqueaks and welcome to every pony's favorite podcast, The Pitcast. I am your host, Pit Petals, and here with me is my co-host and pony pal, Jazz Hooves. Hey, Pip. Hey, every pony listening. Uh, can you believe that this is our seventh podcast? I know, Jazz. It's totally wild. But you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun, right? Doing a podcast was the best idea. Well, I thought so, too. Until... Oh, no. What's happened? Well... Okay, I wanted to do something different today and talk to some pony who wasn't so sure about magic and the ways it was changing our world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one uh, pony's name is uh, uh, Posey Bloom. She wasn't very sure about magic changing our world and uh, my little pony make your mark. That special came out on... Uh, May 26th, 2022. And ever since May 26th, 2022, I have been uh, pretty occupied with making all these videos. So, yeah. And I thought I knew the absolute perfect pony to give us another perspective on it all. But when I asked her to come on the show, she said no. No? She said no? She said what? No. Not even thinking about it. Yep. She said the last thing she wanted to do was talk about magic or anything else in public. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and the worst part, I don't have a plan B, so we have no guest for today. Oh no, Pip, not this again. What are we gonna do? Uh well Yeah, not this again, Pip. Don't you remember the last time we had no guest on our show? Seriously. The last time we had no guest on our show was when, uh, uh, no pony showed up. It was episode number three, the la- Episode number three of this show was the last time we had had this happen. Don't worry, I watched it. You don't have to get mad at me, I did freaking watch it. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, uh, well, I was thinking that- Knock? Is any pony home? Oh, I've never been to Main Melody after hours like this. Um, hello? Was hello? I think it's... Wow! Roller skates? Oh, you can't just leave these laying around. <gasps> Posey? Is that you? Posey? Well, of course it's me. Hello? I, I really can't believe it's you. Oh, okay, Pip Squeaks. Can you please help me welcome to the Pipcast our very special guest, Posey! Give her a warm welcome, every pony! Right now? But I'm not ready. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. Posey, Posey, we are so excited that you are here, and don't worry. We've got just the thing to ease those nerves of yours. Jazz, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah! Dance party! Coming right up! Pony dance party! Dance party! Oh, that's the Sneaksy song from episode number 34, Sneaksy Strikes Again. We, had, we recently reacted to that episode. This is my favorite song out of all of them. On stage? Uh, <laughs> no way. Oh, come on, Posey Bloom. It's not that bad. Getting getting on stage at Main Melody ain't that bad. I'm pretty sure every pony in Equestria has suffered a stage fright before. But... Back in my old days, but back in the old days of YouTube, uh, when it was still pretty new in 2015, uh, 
uh, back in my old YouTube days, uh, my sister wasn't, uh, very, uh, you know, frightened of being on stage. She has zero stage fright being on stage, of course. And ever since that very day, I have always wanted uh, to be on stage at like a, a live event, like a live stage event. But over the years, uh, I had never built up that courage. And so I have a uh, stage fright. Uh, Posey Bloom, if you're watching my reaction to this after making this episode of the Pipcast, um, I can relate to you because I am frightened of certain things like being on stage for the first time. I've been thinking about that for a while now. So whenever I sing an MSM song or sing with an MSM character, I uh, think of myself uh, on stage with a bunch of cats and dogs and stuff. And I never get too frightened. That's my first time here. Really? But you're so confident, Posey. You're never afraid to speak your mind in front of other ponies. I guess that's true. But for some reason, being on stage and singing and dancing just seems much scarier than talking about why we need a schedule for the community garden or how to fix maritime based trash problem. You are quite the passionate pony, Posey. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I wanted to have you on the show. You have such strong opinions. But, okay, to be honest, I am a little confused. I mean, didn't you tell me no when I asked you to be a guest? Um, I think my exact words were, No way! nuh -uh, Not a chance! Nope! Forget it! Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> oh, I might have said no a little bit too quickly. You know, I've never been on a podcast before, and I guess the thought of doing something new just made me so nervous. So, what was it that made you change your mind? Well, after you asked me to be on the show, I went home and I listened to a few podcasts, and turns out, they were pretty cool. <laughs> Once I understood more about what a podcast was, I could see that it might be fun. Doing research about something new is a great idea, po- yeah, it's a great idea, Posey. See? Thanks, Jazz. And then once I understood, I just marched right over here before I lost my nerve. Well, we are so glad that you did. Now, speaking of changing your mind, you had a similar experience when Magic returned, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I was really, really not a fan of Magic when it first came back. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember, too. It was in, uh... The Make Your Mark special, which, like I said, aired on May 26th, 2022. I have been pretty occupied with making a ton of videos ever since then. But when I reached the age of 19 on my 19th birthday, I completely uh, got blasted out of my teens. And by the time... And, and now that... Uh, the world, Third World War uh, is uh, starting, uh, like happening in 2023. Um, I am uh, uh, going to, I am now entering my 20s. What was it about magic that you didn't like? Uh, I think at first it seemed unfair, you know? Only unicorns and pegasi had magic, and that didn't seem right. You do like things to be fair and square, don't you, Posey? Oh, I definitely do. And then so many things were changing so fast in Maritime Bay. All of a sudden, we had unicorns and pegasi living here. And unicorns were levitating stuff through the streets of my hometown, and pegasi were zooming around in the sky. It was so overwhelming. Mm. I never thought about it like that, Posey. But now that you mention it, I totally see where you're coming from. That's a lot of change all at once. And just to top it all off, then Earth Ponies got magic too. Exactly. I spent all that time feeling so annoyed that we didn't have magic. I never thought about what it would be like if we actually got it too. But being able to grow flowers and fruits and trees and vines with your magic... It is pretty incredible. It yeah. 
it is pretty cool being able to grow that sort of sort of stuff uh, out of nowhere with your hooves, as shown in episode number 20 of My Pony Tell Your Tale, One Trick Pony, where uh, Rufus, a.k.a. the Great Hoof Dini, um, uh, uh, shows us. Uh, he made uh, some vines singing off of a uh, flower bed uh, grow even longer. And uh, he was like, I brought Kahoof or something and save glory and everything. Isn't it posy? Absolutely. And any pony that knows me knows that I have always loved to garden. I used to spend so much time digging and planting and watering my flowers. And now, watch this. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the size of that rose. You think that's cool? Check this out. Oh, look at the color of that tulip. It's so beautiful. Whoa. How about an orchid? Or a lily? Wow. wow. Okay, that's enough. Getting kind of cozy in here. Posy, stop! I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just get so swept up in making flowers with my earth pony magic that I totally lose track of time. Yep, I can see that. Look at this place. It's like a garden in full bloom. There are flowers everywhere. Main melody has never been more beautiful. Thanks, Jazz. <laughs> I guess I did get a little bit carried away. No, no, I love it, Posey. It's just, um, well, you know, um, w what do we do with all these big, beautiful flowers now? Oh, I've got just the thing. And we'll be right back with Posey's big idea. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Pip Squeaks, listen up. It's me, Pip, and I'm here to let you know that I heard you. For the next 24 hours only, I am bringing back half price Pony Pal pepper <laughs> packages at Main Melody. That is for one day only. <laughs> Now, if you know, you know, but these spa days are totally epic. We are talking mages, pupicures, and some serious styling. All done by yours truly, Pit Paddles, and the uber-talented Jazz Hooves. Yeah! Okay. So grab your pony pals, get down to the salon, and get booked in for the most fun, relaxing, and stylish day with your friends ever. See you there. Mwah! Hey, Pipsqueaks, we are back with Posy, and she is just about to show us what she does with all her Earth Pony magic creations. Well, I couldn't just let all the things I make go to waste, Pip. So, I started to dry them in the sun and turn them into tea leaves. Ooh, I could go for a cup of tea right now. Oh, me too. Tea me is, like, three. Totally and relaxing and, like, well, you ponies are in luck because there's the kettle. <laughs> oh. I brought a bunch of my dry flower tea leaves so that you could create your own tea blend. I even brought special mugs. <laughs> Here you go, Pip. And one for you too, Jazz. Ooh, check it out. This mug is perfect for me. It says, the party starts here. Uh, yeah, it does. <gasps> Look at mine, Pip. It says, put your hoofs up. It's hoof cure time. Oh, that is so you, Jazz. Thanks, Posey. Wow, look that at that. That is all so huge. You can make cup of tea. Are these all different kinds of dried plants, Posey? There's so many. Yep. There is lavender, elderberry leaf, glimmerberry branch, calming crystal root, moonberry leaves, all the most special fruits and flowers to make the yummiest teas. Do the crystal... Uh, do the crystal ones come from a crystal a cave or a crystal kingdom somewhere? I don't know. What you having, Pip? Mm, I think I will take a elderberry leaf tea, please. Can I try a combo, Posy? Sure. Why not? Okay. I will have moonberry leaves with a sprinkle of calming crystal root. Oh. Calming crystal root. Uh, I don't know about well, that. I've never tried that combination before, Jazz. 
I don't know if it'll be any good. Oh, well, let's see. I could always try... You know what? Forget I said that, Jazz. Sometimes we've got to just try something new, right? I mean, I was so nervous to come on the Pipcast today, but <laughs> that turned out pretty okay. Um, better than okay. It's been amazing to have you on the show. I feel totally inspired by you. Yeah, me too. Even though doing new things can be hard for you, you just keep trying. And that is so, so, so cool. Thanks, ponies. So, Jazz, how about that Moonberry Crystal Calming Root Tea? Yes, please. Uh, can I have a little bit of lavender with my elderberry branch tea? <laughs> feel like living on the edge. <laughs> of course. Coming right up. Here you go. I hope you like them. Oh, my pony. Posey, this is super delish. I have never tasted anything like it. And I am loving this combo, too. Trying something new totally paid off. Phew, <laughs> what a relief. Oof, this tea is so hot. I can't even imagine what kind of crazy tea combo you've got going on there, Posey. Crystal, calming, root, moonberry, lavender. Oh, me? Well... Come on, you can tell us. It must be totally creative. Actually, <laughs> it's just good old calming root. I usually like to stick to the classics. <laughs> ah, classic. Do you, Posey? Fuck this. You know what that means, Pipsqueaks. That sound means it's time for the main five. Right. So, Posey, this is the part of the show. Where you ask each guest the same five questions. Oh, remember when I said I listened to a few podcasts? Well, they were all the Pipcast. Um, amazing. So you know exactly how this goes. Okay, just answer the questions with the very first thing that comes to mind, okay? Ready? Ready! First question. What is your favorite food? Hmm. I really love garlic bread. <laughs> mm -hmm. Glitter or no glitter? Ugh, glitter totally infuriates me. Just when you think you've got it all cleaned up, everything starts to sparkle again. So... Yeah, glitter's very frustrating to clean up, so I prefer no glitter at all. I mean, it gets into your clothes, your carpet, and it's just, ah, irritating. Very, very irritating. It makes, the, the thought of it just makes me so mad. And if Kira, um... And if Kira splatters some glitter into my hair, my carpet, and my clothes, I would get so mad that I would be like, what the effing hell is wrong with you, you piece of S? I would just cuss at her for it. I would just cuss at Kira for it. And uh, I'll be like, you're going to pay for my new carpet, man. I can't freaking believe you. Well, it's a good thing now that that actually happened. So, yeah, no glitter for me and Posey, Pit Petals. That's a no to glitter then? Yes. No, uh, 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 glitter. <laughs> okay, what are you reading right now? The Gardener's Guide to Growing Your Own Food. The song that always gets stuck in your head? It's gotta be that song about the trash. T R A S H. Oh, uh, yeah, the trash song. I had that song stuck in my head for a while now. I, I've had that, I, I've had that song stuck in my head for a while now. A couple of months, actually. And honestly, it was a pretty good song. So yeah, the T-R-A-S-H song gets stuck in my head for... That song has gotten stuck in my head for so long. T-R-A-S-H doesn't mean it's waste. T-R-A-S-H with a dash of taste. Woohoo, woohoo, make it brand new. That theme song, that song has gone stuck in my head for a while now. Oh, and there's the Thomas and Friends theme song. Uh, that has gone stuck in my head for a while now. I had it stuck in my head for like two years prior today. 
Oh, man. That song is real catchy. There's two, there's four, there's six, there's eight. Shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. Yeah, I had that theme song stuck in my head for a while now. That Tom's a friend's theme song. Ah, the trash song. I love it. That is from episode 13 of My Pony Tell Your Tale, by the way, where Izzy tries to find a ring for Sunny's uh, maritime baby gift. What is making you happy right now? Well, it's gotta be having Earth Pony magic. Even though it was a big change for me, I'm learning that sometimes change can be pretty great. Here what makes me happy right now is uh, doing voice impressions, speaking different languages, and doing accents. Oh, and meditation. I love to meditate. It helps me calm down and uh, uh, make me feel happier when I get very angry. That pip squeaks. Change is great. Such wise words, Posey. Well, that's it for another episode of the Pipcast. Big thanks to Posey for being on the show, and big love to my main pony, Jazz, for all that you do. Mwah. Stay tuned for another episode of the Pipcast, coming soon. And remember, Pipsqueaks, life is magical. And so are you. <laughs> Bye. <Wow. laughs> Bye, Pipsqueaks. Bye, Bye Posey. Posey. See you later. Bye, Posey. Thanks for the tea. Thanks for listening, ponies. You're welcome, as always. And uh, that is it for episode number seven of Mo Pony the Podcast. I hope you have enjoyed episode number seven of Mo Pony the Podcast. And if you did, please make sure to stay tuned for a few for a bunch of future videos. And have a great day. Bye-bye and peace out.